Hi, this is Jake again. Thanks for stopping by. And today we're going to talk about how your mind can deceive you. Have you ever made a decision based on a thought that you had and later you found out that the thought you had wasn't true in the first place? That's what we're going to talk about today. There are many ways that our minds can deceive us. But before we take a look at those ways individually, I want to focus on one overarching belief that has helped me fall less victim to my own mind. And I want to share that with you here today. That belief is just because a thought appears in your head, in your mind, does not make it automatically true. Let me say it again. Just because a thought appears in your mind does not make it automatically true. I know, I know, it sounds like common sense, but for me, for years, most of my adult life, it wasn't common sense at all. In fact, I believe the exact opposite. I believed if it came in my mind, if a thought appeared in my mind, it must be true. And I automatically believed it. I don't know if it was arrogance or, I don't know, I just, if I thought it, I just thought it was true. And it was like, for example, I was dating a woman and she said she was gonna text me at a certain time. And let's say it was 30, uh, 30 minutes or an hour after the time she told me, I just thought that she would not, she wasn't interested. And then since I thought that, I deleted her number or blocked her. Could she have been busy? Could she have, could it have been an emergency? There could have been a lot of reasons why she didn't text at that particular time. It could be she just forgot. But for me to just assume and jump to conclusions that she wasn't interested is one way our mind can deceive us. And another one is, uh, let's say if I was dating someone and I got into an argument and after the argument, I, I thought, hmm, you know what? We're gonna always argue. And the majority of our days, are gonna be filled with drama. And you know what? Based on that thought, I decide to leave. Because what, what's the point, right? But just because I thought that, that doesn't mean it was necessarily true. How do I know, how did I know that the rest of our days were gonna be the same? So I did another, I used another distortion, which is generalization. If one specific day is bad, then that must mean all the days are gonna be bad. But what, what evidence did I have for that to be true? The problems happened in my life because I never questioned my thoughts. My thoughts had to be true just because they came into my mind. I treated every thought like gospel, like generals giving little orders. And I was a faithful soldier. I would make decisions immediately based on whatever thought popped up into my mind. Now, as you can see, by doing that, you're gonna make a lot of rash decisions, impulsive decisions that you're gonna later regret once you realize that your thought didn't really have any merit to begin with. So how did I learn to stop being impulsive and stop behaving counterproductively? I learned by practicing mindfulness. I've learned that we have thousands of thoughts that come through our mind every day. And I've learned to look at my thought stream like a stream of water, like a river. Some thoughts that come by are empowering, some are disempowering. And I learned to just practice watching the thoughts without taking action. The second thing that I did was I learned to question any disempowering thoughts that I had that were causing me to want to take action. Um, I started saying, well, for example, okay, this person didn't text me when they said they would. I won't worry about it. it there could be a reason for it. They could be busy, could have forgot. It doesn't mean anything except they just didn't text me. Okay? And 
that's happened to me before and I waited a day and I just texted the person, um, hello, how are you? And they told me, you know what? I thought I sent the message, but I can see here that I didn't send it. So what does that tell you? That doesn't mean that they weren't interested. They just were human and forgot to hit send. Finally, before I made any decisions, I always wanted to base my decisions based on facts and evidence. Kind of like a court of law. Not solely on a thought that came in my head. Because a thought that came into my head could possibly be invalid. So if I didn't have proof to back up the thought, then I wouldn't act on it. And that was a way for me to uh, stop being deceived and manipulated by my own mind. All right. I hope that helps. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, uh, comment below, send me a message. And until the next time, thanks again.